Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the equation of the curve uh, for the for the quadratic equation chapter. I think this is for SPM MF form 4. Yes, some chapter actually will ask you about how, how to find the equation of the curve. All right, but then in, in this video, I'm not going to cover the I'm not going to cover the integration part because if you learn about integration, integration do also ask you to find the equation of curve. But then in this video, I will only cover uh, the quadratic part, which most of the time the equation, the question will actually give you a diagram and then will ask you to use the diagram to find the equation of the curve. So in this video, I will provide you three different examples. So you will see actually I, I, you will have three different examples and then all of the examples actually they will give you the different information. So in so over here I will teach you how to find the equation of a curve using three different examples when you have different information. Alright, so have a look on the first example first. The first example actually is the most common one means in this in this question yeah the question will ask you to find the acid symmetry and, and then the question will ask you to find the equation of the curve and then the question for this one they will also to ask you to find the minimum point so i will cover it quite fast for this question so the first thing is you have to pay in the uh, pay attention on the on the x acid okay if you understand about x acids that's mean when y equals to zero or we call x in the set negative 2 and 6 means when y equals to 0 you will get x equals to negative 2 or x will equals to 6 okay this is what we call x in the set means when y equals to 0 you will actually get two value for x so in in this case if you understand about this thing so you you also know how to solve the quadratic equation so you know actually you can write like this you can write when x minus 2 you will become positive 2 and x minus 6 you will get 0 correct or not because how i get this equation is if you sub you separate them something like x plus 2 equals to 0 or x minus 6 equals to 0 you can actually get x equals to negative 2 which is the answer here and x equals to 6 which is the answer here means actually now i i work backwards means now I will join these two together become x plus 2 x minus 6 and make it become equals to 0 but then the equals to 0 is just for you to understand because I want to form the equation of the curve I will not write equals to 0 I will write equals to y alright then I will just expand the bra bracket and then I can get the equation of the curve easily by this is x square uh, and then this is x square and then minus 6x plus 2x this one multiple this one and then 2 multiple negative 6 minus 12 so y will equals to x square and minus 4x minus 12 All right this is how i get the equation of the curve for the diagram like this because i have so little information so when i have so little information i can only do like this okay so of course there's another method if you understand this is the answer for x in in this chapter actually we call it root okay if you understand this is root so what i what i will do is if this is root that is also mean alpha equals to negative 2 and beta will equal to 6 of course if you understand about this one you can use this formula like x square minus sum of root x plus product of root equals to 0 but in this case I will not write equal to 0 because I want to find the equation of the curve I will write equals to y so what I will do is this is x square my sum of roof mean alpha will plus beta means 6 will plus the negative 2 I will get 4 x and product of roof basic, basically mean alpha multiple beta mean negative 2 will multiple 6 so I will get negative 12 equals to y that means I can get y will equals to x square minus 4x minus 12 so you, you can find out both of the equation is the same that's mean both method will also help you to will also able to help you to find the equation of the curve all right so depend which method you you like more then you can actually use both of this method okay 
However, you cannot use another method, which is uh, the completing the square method. I will explain why in the next example. However, over here, I also want to teach you how to find the axis symmetry. So in order to find the axis symmetry, this is called parabola graph. So the parabola graph, the axis symmetry will always passing through the midpoint of the x intercept. I repeat again, this is midpoint of the x intercept. So for example, this is negative 2 to 6. You have to guess where is the midpoint. So midpoint is very easy. You just take negative 2 plus 6 divided by, uh, divided by 2. So negative 2 plus 6 over 2. This is how we find midpoint. And you will get the value is 4 over 2, which is 2. That means the midpoint here is 2. That means my axis symmetry will passing through the 2. So my axis symmetry called x equals to 2. Alright, this is how I find my axis symmetry. If the question asks you to find axis symmetry. Alright, and last but not least, the question will also ask you to find a minimum point. The axis symmetry, if you understand about axis symmetry, you know it's always passing through the minimum or maximum point. So if max axis symmetry over here is 2, at least I have some information about my minimum point is 2 for x. But why I do not know, I'm going to leave it at y. Okay, so in order to find the values of y as, uh, as well as the minimum point of the quadratic curve, so what I can do is I can actually substitute 2 into my equation. Then I can easily get my y value. Yeah, you can substitute into any equation. So just to make things easy, I substitute into this equation. So I want to find a y value, but I know my x value equals to 2. So I'm going to substitute 2 into all the x here. Become 2 squared minus 4, 2 minus 12. So y will equal to 4 minus 8 minus 12. My y will equal to negative 16. So therefore, I can easily to find my minimum point, which is negative 16. So this is how I find my minimum point. Actually, it's not so complicated. So for this diagram, the, the most important part is you must get, you must able to understand what is the meaning for x intercept. And you also need to understand how to use the x intercept to find the equ equation of the curve. Alright, so this is how, how we find the equation of the curve. So if you have the equation of the curve, you you need to know how to find the minimum point. By using the axis symmetry, you can find the x value of the minimum point. By substitute the x value of the minimum point into the equation, you can get the y value, and then at the end, you can get the minimum point. All right, I, I mean the both x and y of the minimum coordinates. So I will go into the second example. Okay, second example is slightly different with what we see just now. Because in this example, you have more information. When you have more information, actually you cannot use the method just now. Because in, in this case, the x, the coefficient of x squared is not 1. Because this one, at the end, you might get some equation like this, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, because just now, we assume the a value is 1. But in this case, I think the a value is not 1. So in order to find the a value, so what I, what I will do is I will need to find the, the minimum coordinate first. So because I always understand the minimum, uh, the x value of minimum coordinate will passing through the midpoint of x intercept. So I can easily know the midpoint is 2 because I use back the example just now. So therefore, I can easily to find my p-value, which is 2. So I substitute 2 into my p-value. And, and now I have my minimum point. So if I have my minimum point over here, I can use another formula which, which, need, which include the minimum point, which is the completing the square formula. If you remember the formula, the formula actually is y will equal to a, x minus h square plus k. Alright, so you, you know h and k actually related to the mi minimum coordinate. So what I will do over here is when when my x value is 2 here, I know I can substitute 2 into my h. And negative 8 is the k value. 
Okay, this is just the formula. When this is negative 2, then this one will become positive 2. Alright, you must understand about the formula. And then I will need to find the A value. So when I need to find the A value, I need to substitute another point, not the minimum point. You can substitute the X intercept or Y intercept if you have the Y intercept. But in this case, I do not have the Y intercept. So maybe I can use this coordinate. When I have a 6 here, I know this one actually cos 6, 0. This is the coordinate. So what I will do is, I know my x value is 6 and my y value will be 0. So I will substitute 0 into here and 6 into my x. Then using this method, I can actually find my a value. So this one will be will be 8. So 8, I move to the other side, will be positive 8 because this is negative 8. This is 4. 4 squared will be 16. So I move the 16 to the other side. So a will equal to 8 over 16, which is 1 over 2. So therefore, in this case, if I want to find my if I want to find my equation, so I will substitute the a into this equation. So which is y equals to half x minus 2 square minus 8. So this is how I find my uh, equation of the curve. Alright. Because this one, even you expand it, you will find out your a is not 1. So when you have the minimum point, I mean the minimum coordinate or maximum coordinate is given, you always need to use this formula to solve it out, to form the equation of the curve. Because it's not the same. Unless like example just, uh, the first example just now, in this case, the minimum point is not given. So you can assume the coefficient of x squared equals to 1 means the number in front of x squared is 1. But if the minimum point, one of the coordinate, either x or y is given, you cannot assume you cannot assume they are positive 1 for the x squared. Alright. Okay, so I will go into the last example to teach you how to find the equation of the curve. Okay, so for the last example, yeah, the question actually, the whole diagram, the question will straight away give you the minimum coordinates and then the question will give you the y intercept so you always need to understand the x intercept or y intercept the purpose is to help you to find a is to help you to find the values of a in your equation so i will write the equation again if you have the minimum or maximum point you always need to use this equation which is y equals to a x minus h square plus k so you so you have to understand how to substitute the x and y into this equation because for this equation we know the minimum point or maximum point it will be h squared h k h and k so therefore when this is 3 so i will straight away substitute my x my h equals to 3 square and my k is negative 5 in this example Okay, so this is how we substitute because now my coordinate is 3 and negative 5. So I know my h is 3 and my k is negative 5. And the so important about this formula is uh, the symbol here is negative because a lot of students will write positive for this symbol. Because this equation itself, yeah, the symbol for inside the bracket square here must always be negative. Always be negative so you must know it's always be negative this is very important all right then i will need to find a here that's why i have the y intercept so for the y intercept i know negative 3 here will actually mean 0 negative 3 so my x value is 0 and my y value is negative 3 so i'm going to substitute negative 3 into the y and my x value is 0 so 0 minus 3 square minus 5 so in this case, I will going to move my 5 to here will be minus 3 plus 5. And I will leave, I will solve this one, which is 9. So I can find my A value basically is 2 over 9. So after I got my A value, I always need to substitute it back to, to the equation I have just now. So therefore, I will have the equation, which is y will equals to 2 over 9 x minus 3 square minus 5. Alright, this is how I find the equation of the curve. If the question do give me a, a minimum point or a maximum point, and then another coordinate is on the line. Right, you must very be careful, no matter x intercept or y intercept, 
is must passing through the curve. If the coordinate is still does, doesn't passing through the curve, you cannot use the coordinate. Just in case in the exam, you do not see the x intercept or y intercept for the curve, and the questions randomly give you a coordinate A, maybe this is 5, 2. Definitely, if coordinate A is on the line, you can still use the coordinate A to find the value A here. Alright, this is how we do uh, in this chapter. I mean, how, how do we actually find the equation of the curve? Right, I hope this 15 minutes video do help you understand about how to find the equation of the curve and minimum point and maximum point. That means how to intercept the maximum or minimum point into this equation as well. Yeah, I hope you find this video helpful. Anyways, thanks for watching.